Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back again. Uh, got in the mood to make another tutorial, and I had this plugin that I've had for a few months now called Ivy Grower, and I've never really talked about it. Uh, but it's a really neat plugin. It's free. Uh, any of you guys can get it if you would like. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it, and it's pretty easy to use. So I uh, thought I'd make a tutorial about it because I figure some of you might want to know. So this is a little scene I rendered out not too long ago of uh, what I. I uh, basically made part of this using Ivy Grower. Uh, you can see I texturized the text here, and then um, this right here that you see would be the Ivy that I generated using the plugin Ivy Grower. So it's pretty cool. Uh, you have a lot of, you basically have full control over how it looks and what it does and whatnot. So it's pretty sweet. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and jump into Cinema 4D. And already you're going to notice that I already have my text in here. I have a camera and I've just kind of textured the text a little bit. Um, so all I did was uh, was go to MoGraph, MoText, um, choose my font, or chose my font, changed it to say whatever, and then changed the depth to about 70 or so. And that is that. So you can go ahead and apply any texture you would like. I applied these textures using uh, Grayscale Gorillas. Uh, texture kit pro so it's pretty cool um, you don't have to use that but that's what I chose to use so anyways uh, once you get your text set up here uh, we can basically go into our plugins here and you should see ivy grower alright so make sure before we use I ivy grower that we have our text selected let's go to plugins and go to ivy grower and that'll bring these attributes up right here and uh, yeah, I already have um, my attributes modified so let's go ahead and uh, change the uh, uh, check on stop at we'll go to 450 change the IV size to about 0 0.023 uh, 31 percent is a primary weight um, you know we're gonna add some gravities change that to about 1.5 and whatnot um, you know, so a lot of this is up to you. Um, let's see, we could even go a little bit higher on that. Uh, you can take a minute to copy these uh, values that I have um, if you would like. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to, if you'd like to copy these values that I have. Um, we'll go over here into birth. We'll change the branch size to 0 0.06, the leaf size to 0 0.7 and the leaf density to 0 0.5 and uh, that looks about good so what we need to do now is let's go ahead and let's just click on to do this you're gonna get this option you're just gonna select where you want your ivy to start growing so um, let's have it start here in the top and just double click and you'll see that uh, a red point gets created Right, and that's going to be the start of your ivy. Well, um, if you go down here, you can change the seed point color. So it, by default, it's set to yellow. Um, to make it so to where you can see a little bit better, you can change that to any color you'd like just by clicking on the box and changing the color. So for right now, I'm going to leave it at red. And let's just go up to, uh, once we have all our parameters set here, next step to do is just to hit grow ivy. And you can see here all these splines are being generated around our text, and we can stop it at any time. I'm going to let it finish all the way through, and it's basically generating our ivy for us. So that's quite a bit of ivy right there. Um, still going. All right, so that's pretty thick. I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. All right, and there is our ivy, guys. Uh, it's grown around our text. And uh, okay, so let's go ahead and give this a quick render preview. You're going to notice we don't see anything yet. That is because we have to, let's go back into plugins, Ivy Grower. We have to give birth. We have to go to the birth tab and hit give birth. And what this is going to do is that right there, it makes our uh, Ivy for us. So if we go ahead and give this a quick render preview, uh, you can see that is our Ivy that was generated. Uh, that we just created. So let's, um, I'm going to turn on some slightly higher settings here. Let's go to effect, add in some ambient occlusion, 
and uh, see if that looks any better. Um, this will just take a second to render out. It shouldn't take too long, but the more ivory ivy you have generated, the longer this will take. So bear that in mind. Now, this isn't taking too long, but uh, you can see the effect that we uh, we've gone for and how easy it was to grow ivy on this text. So you can see um, that looks uh, pretty decent. And uh, you can do this as many times as you would like. So like if you wanted to, you could go back into um, select your text again, go back into plugins, ivy grower, uh, select your points here and give birth again and grow more ivy. Or what you could do if you don't want to do that is select the ivy that's already been uh, generated and you could copy it by pressing uh, control C control V or command C command V so I would do that right now but it's really gonna slow my program down so I'm not going to do that and then all you'd have to do is take that IV and then move it you can actually uh, reposition it along the text so that is it guys a um, little quick tutorial there hope it helped you out I hope you learned something hope you guys can use this and uh, it's pretty neat so uh, thank you for watching this and uh, comment with any thoughts you may have any questions you may have if you are having any problems let me know I'll try to help you to the best of my ability so uh, that'll do it for now guys and uh, thanks for watching peace out oh and by the way please hit that like button I would really appreciate it thank you